Hi, Chef Karen here. We're gonna be making some fresh pasta. Uh, not from scratch, the pasta store-bought. You can get the same effect. Uh, they have so many great brands now that you can buy in the grocery aisle that are made by hand and are fresh. What you wanna do is make sure it's at room temperature before you put it into the boiling water. And once your water comes to a boil, uh, you can make sure that the pan is at least two thirds full. Make sure there's enough room for it to swim, swim around comfortably. You don't wanna have it too, too confined. Uh, you always wanna put salt in your water. And the reason that you put salt in the water, there's no magic other than that's where pasta gets its flavor. Pasta on its own does not have that much flavor, so the salt in the water really helps give it some flavor and really helps the, the sauce adhere to it. So you wanna put about, about a teaspoon to a tablespoon, depending on what size. Um, I like to use uh, kosher salt. I use the coarse kosher salt. You can use table salt. You can use any salt that you have, but it's really important that you do put the salt in the water. So once that salt is dissolved, you take your fresh pasta. You must have these. I call these my kitchen hands. Uh, they're called calipers, tongs, whatever you want to call them. Always use these. Those pasta spoons, nah, forget it. You want this. Uh, so you take your pasta, you want to just put it in the boiling water. Fresh pasta cooks very quickly, so you don't want to leave it too long. So just wait for it to unfold and wait for the water to do its trick. Um, and after about a minute or two, you can give it a quick, you know, make sure how it's doing, if it's floating around there nicely. Fresh pasta cooks very quickly, so you want to make sure it doesn't get overcooked. Um, so put a little piece out. You could just take a quick nibble of it. Tastes good to me. I think we should go. So with fresh pasta or any pasta, you want to make sure that you take it right from the pot and put it into hot sauce. Remember how your mom used to do it? She used to rinse it in cold water? No, no rinsing in cold water. You're, unless you're using it later. If you're gonna use it later, take it right from the pot and put it into an ice water bath. So now our pasta is coming apart quite nicely. And uh, like I said, with fresh pasta, you never want to dump it into a colander, any pasta actually. You want to take it out a little bit at a time and put it in your colander. So you're getting that because you want to save some of that, that water from the pasta for your sauce later on. The starch in pasta, it releases into the water and then that's a great way to really bulk up your sauce and make it, give it that little edge. Um, so you want to just gently pull your noodles out and there you have perfectly done fresh pasta. Today I'm going to teach you how to make marinara sauce. This is a foolproof recipe that I brought back from the hills of Tuscany 